S-a încheiat Arad Grand Prix 2023. 424 de sportivi din 28 de țări s-au întrecut pentru maile trofeu. Criteriile de partajare au fost trase la sorți chiar înainte de premiere, iar sorții au decis că Buholțul va fi cel care va face diferența. Astfel s-a impus Martirosian Haic pe locul întâi, urmat de favoritul numărul 2 al turneului Nima Hans Moche și de Nicoloschi Nicola. Uh, Haig managed to win the Arad uh, Grand Prix 2023 and also get, uh, got second in uh, Timișoara Grand Prix. How do you feel in Romania? Yeah, I feel very good. I enjoy my stay in Romania. Both tournaments, I think I can say I played well. Uh, and yeah, everything was good. The organization is also fine and I really enjoyed here to play. And I'm happy that I won this tournament because I was the highest rated player in this tournament and it's not easy to keep that and finish first place, but overall I'm happy. Uh, which was the most difficult game in this tournament for you? Uh, most difficult maybe against Mastro Vasilis this uh, round 8, because it was very important for me. If I manage, I manage to win that game, if, if I make a draw it will be uh, not so easy to finish first place, but it's really helped me that win. I can say maybe that for me. Uh, very good. How much time uh, were you preparing during the event, if this is not a secret, of course? I, I can't say the 100% because it's random. It's every, it depends against who I will play. But maybe three, four hours I'm preparing for, against my opponents. I can say. Now you are having uh, great chances to qualify, if not you already qualified for the uh, Grand Prix final in uh, December. Are you coming to Alba Iulia to play the 16 uh, uh, final Grand Prix? Actually, I was surprised I didn't know about this. I will check it and for if I... Yeah, I will check it and then I will decide it. Yeah, I want to thank everyone who uh, did this tournament possible to play and I wish Romanian players, also the country, the national team. I saw many players are <laughs> changing the flag and now they will play for Romania. I wish a lot of success. Cei trei lideri au fost urmați de un grup de 11 jucători cu 7 puncte fiecare. Aceștia au fost Pișo Alan, Petkov Momcil, Sankal Gupta, Pâligras Mirce Emilian, Moroni Luca, Cantor Gergeli, Kulaoț Caido, Lupulescu Constantin, Vanchak Tamas, Tomaradu Cristian și Pătrascu Cătălin Lucian. Luca, thank you very much for accepting this interview. How do you feel in Romania? Yeah, first of all, thank you for inviting me here. Uh, it's great. I've never been in Romania. Uh, like Brasov was the first time uh, I've been here, and everything is great. Uh, like unfortunately, during tournaments, there is not enough time to to go to visit some place or or enjoy um, too much the country. But but anyway, everything is good. Like the organization was perfect. Uh, I met some. New, new guys, so I mean, new friends here. Everything is is really, really nice here. Uh, how was uh, the event in Brasov? Oh, it's great. Uh, first of all, okay, it was a strong tournament with good prize fund and really good organization. But I'm I'm happy to see that so many players were there. Uh, there in Brasov, in Timisoara, here in Arad, like uh, 300, 400 players. It's it's nice for the professional players, but also for the the ones that are playing for just for fun. And to see so much so much people is like and see the playing area so full of people is is really really nice to to be in there. Yeah, what are your impressions after after this event? Well, I'm um, okay. This tournament I score my my normal result, let's say, because I got weaker guys by by rating, but. Uh, many of them played played really good. Like I got this Sandu that she played she played uh, very well. And in some moment I was lost. I was lost even against some some young Ukrainian guys. So I had to save. I'm happy that in both tournaments I didn't lose any single game. So uh, to to keep the unbeaten streak is is good. So okay, this tournament seven out of nine. I'll probably be in the top ten. I won the first one, so I, I cannot pretend to win every tournament. So, okay, it's it's kind of fine. Îl avem alături de noi pe Mircea Poligraz, mare maestru, campion național de trei ori și recent antrenor și autor de cursuri. Mircea, cum te simți la Arad? Bună ziua! Mă simt bine. A fost... Concursul s-a întâmplat foarte repede. A fost legat cu cel de la Timișoara. Aici au fost uh, două zile cu runde duble, 
uh, care au fost grele pentru mine. Uh, au necesitat multă, multă energie. Și dat fiindcă sunt mulți participanți, ca să iau un premiu trebuie să fac, a trebuit să fac multe puncte. Deci probabil concursul să se câștige cu șapte jumătate. Brașovul s-a câștigat chiar cu 8. Din nou runde ai făcut 7 puncte, ceea ce înseamnă destul de mult, de asemenea n-ai pierdut nicio partidă. Uh, ești mulțumit de prestația ta la acest turneu? Uh, sunt mulțumit că am terminat cu o victorie, dar uh, ca întotdeauna o jumătate de punct ar fi fost, în plus, ar fi fost mai bună. Uh, cumva cred că trebuia să-mi asum mai multe riscuri în uh, partida pe care le-am făcut uh, remiza și să, să presesc mai mult. Cum te pregătești în prezent? Cam cum arată o zi, din, o zi din viața ta, o zi de pregătire? În prezent mă concentrez pe șah, deci vreau să îmi îmbunătățesc jocul și în timp să îmi îmbunătățesc și el o, sper. Muncesc destul de mult la șah, acum nu pot să zic câte ore, că nu fac un anumit număr de ore în fiecare zi, dar Uh, mai ales acum vara îmi place să-mi încep ziua cu o uh, plimbare mai lungă așa, pentru că după amiază e cald de tot și nu mai prind. Și după aceea așa, cam, uh, cam toată ziua. Vă mulțumim că ați fost alături de noi la Arad Grand Prix 2023, turneu care a atins noi recorduri în termen de număr de participanți. Arad Grand Prix s-a încheiat, dar rămâneți aproape pentru că urmează o nouă etapă a circuitului Grand Prix România, la Cluj, în perioada 4-5 noiembrie. Să fie șah!